Are you struggling to make your scores look as polished as you'd like in Dorco? Well, you're not alone. In today's video, we're going to explore the seven reasons why your scores might not be looking their best in Dorco, and how you can overcome these challenges. So let's dive right in. When you first launch Dorico, you might notice that the default fonts, spacing, and layout don't quite match your preferences or the conventions you're used to. This can be frustrating, but fear not. Dorico offers an extensive array of customization options that can help you tailor your scores precisely to your liking. From selecting different fonts to adjusting staff spacing, you can have the power to fine-tune every aspect of your score's appearance until it matches your vision perfectly. However, achieving the perfect look for your scores in Dorico can sometimes be a bit tricky, especially if you're coming from another notation software. Don't let this discourage you. While it may take some time to familiarize yourself with Dorico's interface and customization tools, rest assured that with patience and practice, you'll become proficient at adjusting settings and achieving the aesthetic you desire. Take time to explore Dorico's customization menus, experiment with different options, and don't be afraid to consult the user manual or online tutorials for guidance. It's no secret that Dorico has a steep learning curve, particularly for those transitioning from other notation software. You may find yourself feeling overwhelmed by the sheer number of features and options available, but don't let that intimidate you. Remember that mastering any new software takes time and dedication. Take advantage of Dorico's built-in tutorials and documentation, join online forums and communities for support, and most importantly, don't be afraid to experiment. The more you use Dorico, the more comfortable you'll become in its interface and workflows, and the better your scores will look as a result. If you're importing scores from other notation software into Dorico, you may encounter formatting issues or discrepancies in appearance. This can be frustrating, especially if you've spent a lot of time meticulously notating your music in another program. However, all is not lost. Dorco provides several tools and options for refining imported scores, such as adjusting note spacing, resetting system breaks, and cleaning up imported text. Take some time to familiarize yourself with these tools, and don't hesitate to reach out to the Dorco community for advice and assistance if you run into any difficulties. Scores created in older versions of Dorco may not take advantage of the latest features and improvements introduced in newer versions. If you find your scores aren't looking as polished as you'd like, it may be worth considering upgrading to the latest version of Dorco. Not only will this ensure that you have access to the newest features and bug fixes, but it may also improve the overall appearance and performance of your scores. Keep in mind that the newer version of Dorco may require some adjustments to your workflow. Working on hardware that doesn't meet Dorco's recommended system requirements can lead to performance issues or rendering problems which may affect the appearance of your scores. If you find that your scores are looking less than stellar, it's worth taking a closer look at your computer specifications to ensure that it meets Dorco's minimum requirements. This may involve updating your computer's hardware, such as increasing RAM or updating your graphics card to ensure smooth performance and optimal rendering of your scores. Remember that Dorco is a powerful and resource-intensive program, so investing in adequate hardware is essential for achieving the best possible results. Finally, remember that the appearance of your scores in Dorico can also be influenced by your artistic choices. While Dorico provides a wide range of default settings and engraving options, ultimately the look and feel of your scores are up to you. Experiment with different fonts, staff spacing, and engraving settings to find a style that complements your music and suits your personal preferences. Don't be afraid to think outside the box and explore unconventional engraving techniques. And there you have it! By addressing these seven factors, you'll be well on your way to create professional looking scores in Dorico. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and have a wonderful musical day!